let's just sew whatever. Hey everybody, in today's video, Ben and I are gonna be showing you how to make these slouchy beanies from a free pattern online, and it doesn't get any better than that. Um, I used a serger to make mine, but you don't have to have a serger. You would just wanna use a um, stretch, stretch stitch on your basic sewing machine. Um, in my serger, I used two maxi lock stretch threads in the, I believe in the loopers, so that when it stretches, the thread doesn't break since this is a knit fabric that's super stretchy. Um, and this is a bamboo French terry that's available on my website. This is one of my favorite fabric bases. It's super soft and stretchy. Um, and it's got like this texture here, hopefully you can see. Um, it's just, it feels so nice. And it's really washable and the colors stay. So hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I'm using this Simple Knit Fabric Beanie Hat. Uh, it's a free pattern, and I think in her instructions she uses fleece, but I'm just going to use this bamboo French terry because I think it'll be really warm and soft and delicious. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to make it a, an addition of a band that goes around the bottom so I don't have to hem it. So I'm going to cut that to 24 inches by 4 inches, and that's for the large adult size. Um, and that's half an inch longer times two than this is wide. So this was like 11 and a half. So I did half an inch times two, 12. Yeah, anyway. So I'm gonna do 24 inches by four inches for that. And that's for the cuff on the bottom. I'm just gonna use a rotary cutter. You're allowed to make noise, Tammy. <laughs> and then you can make this cuff wider if you want. This is just going to be a little one. And what I'm going to do first is sew the short sides together. So I'm just going to go ahead and clip it like that for now. And then we'll cut out two of the beanie shape itself. Um, and I believe this is like an unlined hat. So if you wanted to line it, you would just cut like four total and put them inside of each other and then add the band, but I think that might be too thick, but it just depends on how you want it. So what I'm doing to make this go a little bit faster is I'm just folding it in half uh, wrong sides together and I'm gonna lay my fabric on top and I've got this straight edge from where I cut the band. So I can just kind of start from there. And I'm gonna use hair clips to Keep it together while I'm cutting. And then the likelihood that I would have used this shape to make something else is very unlikely. So I'm just cutting it straight from this fabric to then cut a little bit easier. And then I'm going to lay these fabrics right sides together and we'll head over to my serger to get started. Um, if you do not have a serger, there are instructions included for that. Um, and you'll just want to use like a zigzag stitch or a knit stitch. All right, let's get started. 
Okay, so I'm gonna start out again with that band using about a half inch seam allowance. And then we're going to fold this wrong sides together with that seam on top of each other. And then if you want to, you could serge or base stitch around the raw edge, not the folded edge, just to help keep everything in place. But I'm just going to kind of clip this together and set it aside for now. All right, so now we're going to sew along each side until we get to the top peak of the curve. And then we'll just move over and come down the other side. my one of my threads ended and didn't keep going through so I've re-threaded it and we're gonna make sure that this works Yay. And then I'm just going to check my seams, make sure everything looks good. Yep. And then I'm going to turn it the other way so that this curve is together. And I'm using basically this little jump thread here to help keep it in place. And then I'm going to clip along that top edge. trail off long enough and you can knot these. What, Ben? What? And trim them off. Okay, so now if you're not adding the band along the bottom, this is where you would kind of fold one side up and top stitch, but I really like the look of the band. So what we're gonna do is kind of keep in mind which direction the band is gonna go. So you'll put the right side to the right side of your hat and then clip that. And I like to just line up one of the seams and then you're just gonna continue clipping all the way around. So you'll have three total pieces of fabric you'll be sewing together. And you can also make the band a little bit smaller if you want it to be a little bit tighter of a band against your head. So maybe you could cut this to like an inch smaller and then it'll be nice and tight. And then we're just going to sew around that edge. Just stay here, okay? Just sit. Thank you. No. Okay, so I like to start at the seam. Make sure all my threads are inside before I start. You kind of want to start at an angle 
So you're like angling into your seam allowance. Sit, sir. Thank you. Again, make sure your little worms, thread worms, are within your seam allowance so you can catch and secure them. And then as I'm serging, I'm keeping my eye here on my seam allowance so I can keep that straight. And I'm going to um, start to reach where I ended. And as I'm doing that, I want to stay straight and cut off some of that because I started at an angle. So you can see it's starting to angle off to where I started. And I cut off some of that. And kind of overlap where I began. And then I'm going to knot this piece. I'm sorry, Ben. And then trim the excess. And then you just kind of flip that up and you've got a beanie with that little bit of band. And you can make the band longer if you wanted to. If you cut it to six inches, you'll have like a three inch band. So it's really up to you, personal preference. If you feel like this part is too long, you can cut off an inch and add that to the band, but yeah, it's all done. How's it look, Ben? <laughs> it's like, no. Hi. Hi. So yeah. Now it's a little bit slouchier. How'd I do? Looks good. Weirdo. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you make some, cause they're so cute.